Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play the Battle Cats on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install the Battle Cats and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play the Battle Cats. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else folks, to start we need to launch our favorite internet browser. We have here the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to this URL I have highlighted in green color. Now, you are able to discover on the screen. You don't need to type it, because there's the clickable link in the description of this video and the first main comment. We ended up there on our site of Usatility, exactly where we have a precise explanation on how you can download the Battle Cats on computer. We browse down a little bit and just click on the Download Game on PC button. After we click on the link, we arrive here on the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is just the Android emulator that we will launch to enjoy the game The Battle Cats on PC. It is now obvious that we access a number of advantages of running that emulator. So we are ready to proceed to download the The Battle Cats by simply clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green color. We then click on it. Of course, the download takes no time at all. Voila, here is located the download. It is an executable file. What we have to do is to run the executable file, so we have to click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make modifications to the system. We clicked yes. I reduced the browser to find the installation software considerably better. The installation software is very simple. It contains two possibilities, install, and setup path. I will show you what setup path does indeed. We just simply click on it. And therefore we note that we have here the path where in fact the emulator is going to be placed. If we plan to vary this directory we are required to click on that browse button, so we choose another directory and set up the emulator wherever we desire. To keep it simple, just set it where it is. Then, I click on back. And therefore I click on install. Great! The installation begins and it's going to progress in the download of those MB that are displayed on our screen. The time you save it on your hard drive, it is likely to be more or less MB. The data transfer speed can be at a higher speed or at a lower speed, subject to your type of connection and according to the speed of the emulator web servers. Today they are working incredibly fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this point, the emulator has been started immediately. As you will notice, down here, there's a progress bar which will fill up then when it actually reaches the end, the emulator will be started for the first time. The reality is the emulator has already been started, here for the very first time. Before we continue on, as you can observe, it created two icons right here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon will be the one we are interested in. Anytime we are planning to run the Battle Cats on our laptop or computer, we twice click on this specific software icon and consequently launch the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. We should do the following step, which is actually a must-have, and this is to log on to the Google Play Store. And we'll click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is launched. Right here we must log on. At present when we're right here, we must definitely perform this next step that is definitely mandatory. Therefore click on Sign In. At this point it says, checking info. It could in some cases get stopped at checking info, additionally it fails to progress. In that case, you can attempt to connect to your account after a number of hours and it may usually be resolved. At this point we are going to insert our email and password. The email needs to be a Gmail email and its associated password. As an example you can use the same email address you use at the moment in your YouTube account. Then I will type in my details and I'll go back after I have done it. That's all, data typed in. And here is Google welcoming us and presenting us their twos. We will say yes to them all by clicking, I agree. After that, it offers us to save to the Google Cloud. You might keep it selected and this will build a backup of the files on this device to Google Drive. I will not check it, you do what you want. We just click on accept. The Google Play Store is launched automatically and immediately. To set up the video game, we have got to browse the emulator desktop by simply clicking on the icon designated green colored. Today that we are on the desktop of this Android emulator, we can see that we have now right here the install video game button. We simply click on this button. Right here we have the game app. Let's quickly mouse click now on the install choice that I am just displaying now in green. 
Therefore it will start the software installation. At this time it is going to install the video game, it may take quite some time or it could be amazingly quickly. That all is determined on our internet access. This has just ended setting up. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by pressing that option that I am highlighting in green, so that you can run the Battle Cats for the very first time. I am by now on the emulator desktop, and so we are going to just click on this fresh the Battle Cats icon that has been created. That game is started for the first time on your device. So there we get it, I could click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to comment on the volume level of this emulator. This is right here. We have got the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume, this way we don't depend on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of the emulator. As well as to enjoy the experience to the maximum, we should activate the large monitor, for which we have two choices. That is the first one, we mouse click on that software icon which I am mentioning in green. Then the screen is maximized, coming with one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. Supposing that we want to experience the app using all the screen, we press on this particular app icon. And we'd at present be experiencing the Android game in 100% screen setting. To leave the complete screen functionality, press the F11 key. And we might at present end up being in standard display screen setting. At this moment I am going to present you the keys mapping and that is definitely rather exciting. This way we will likely be able to use the game application a lot more effortlessly. The first task is to press this software icon. And right now there you will be able to get the appropriate controls. I'll go ahead and put the default configuration, however if you plan to change it, you may well do it now with no problem. As you can notice, the emulator is completely in our own language. In some cases it occurs that your emulator is started in the incorrect language, for example, in Mandarin. Then to set it in the proper language we click here to the cogwheel. So here inside of various other controls, we mouse click on the language drop down. We should pick the language we need, English, Japanese, and so forth. Once the language is chosen, we are going to save, the emulator will reboot, along with the game application, next time we use it, will as well be in the specified language. At this time, there is another element that we need to take into consideration, and it's that we will get an email telling you that a new electronic device has been connected to our Google account. It will certainly question us if we're the ones who have associated with that electronic device. Of course, we ought not be troubled, as the emulator is emulating in Google Android smartphone or tablet. And then to see which smartphone or tablet is currently being emulated, we visit right here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. Let's browse here to the, model, option. And there we notice that the emulator is simulating a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for that video tutorial. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, specifically that you found it informative. If that is so, give it a good thumb up, subscribe to our channel, and any comments, requests or ideas, let them in the comment field down below. You can also leave a remark on my Twitch channel, I conduct live streams from time to time, you get it below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Just click any of those videos that are appearing on the computer screen and see you in the following video game videos. Bye.